There we are. Pull the keyboard a little closer. That's... I have problems. Anyway. I'm gonna go pluck my trees before I do anything else here tonight. Or before I do anything to start off here. Uh, most of my trees are not even ready. I need blue. I might make another field of just blue. You know, I might just pick the all these walls and then just make a field of I make another just make a one of like blue and red. Uh we'll skip the green because I have enough dusk balls and those are only somewhat useful. Oh, I'm in the wrong tab. Haha. <laughs> I'm in the wrong tab on my cram. On my cramulus. I grabbed a pink one by accident. We'll just plant an extra pink over there. Why not? All right. So I was gonna plant blue and yellow. Yeah, yeah, ratata, 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 ta We're gonna plant some white ones too. Because it seemed to be hitting a problem where if I want to make timer balls, I'm always waiting on the white ones. Don't, don't read it that. Yep, went a little hard. So is it going to tell me too many? It's going to tell me too many. So I have to come over here up to this part of the world. Is this going to make it too many? It's not. Okay, good. Yes, it is. Fine, I'll just go this way. I hate this game's logic. Oh, that's a that's glaring far fetched. Oh, did that one went again. I hate. I hate. I hate. I actually hate. Oh, I don't want any of it. What I want. Eh, I trust. I missed. Eh, Pim Missile will finish it. Eh, drop fall. I want the far fetched. I already have one. Run away. Avoid the drops. Okay. I said I need to plant yellow and blue. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant some yellow and blue and then I'm gonna run away for a little bit. 
How did I... How does this always happen? That this freaking song comes on? No. Bye for it. Thanks for nothing. Oh, good. So the other ones are a problem and not the... Man... But there I'll be fine, yep, I knew it. No, give me blue. I got you blue. <laughs> Listen, I need blue and yellow. Yellow for the Ultra Balls, blue for Great Balls, and... Um... Here, there. Uh, blue for... Quick balls, great balls, yellow for ultra balls, and quick balls. And a couple of the whites. Yeah, this is the other one that's working on. The, a couple of the whites, because I need... Because I would like to have at least a couple timer balls. Whites are really only used in timer balls. But even with the 20-some I think I have on hand. Let me look. Where are my timer balls? There they are. Oh, 41. Okay, maybe I don't need that many. <laughs> timer balls are necessary. That's all I'm gonna that's all I'm gonna finish that thought with. Now give me a second here while I look up the rest the Pixelmon Pokeball lids. And that. Okay. I've got my list up here. Back to game. So do green. Does green and pink go together to make anything? No. Green and pink do not. In fact, I'm pretty sure that uh, green and red make lure balls. Don't want to get worse of that. Yeah, green and pink don't go together. It's white. White and pink are the only two that go together. Green needs everything else, so we're not going to worry about that. Yeah, we're not going to worry about anything else for right now. We're actually going to get yellow balls now. Yellow apricorns. We're getting yellow apricorns to forge. There. Back to game. Also, my apologies if I seem like a little bit of a disheveled mess. Yeah, my apo- uh, sorry. Sorry if my brain seems like a disheveled mess. Sorry if I appear like a disheveled mess right now. I went out for a walk earlier today. And it's getting warm. I thought I'd be fine with, I thought I'd be fine in, uh, thought I'd be fine wearing pants. And I was for the most part, but that, that last couple feet coming home, the sun was just beaming, man. It kind of like that. <laughs> that's not sunlight, that's rain scooter. I know! And yeah, that should be a testament to how warm it is, the AC just kicked on. <laughs> Oh, how is how is everybody doing tonight anyway? Is everyone having a good Monday night? Everybody, I hope everybody's having at least a good Monday. Uh, take, I'll take red. Uh, yeah, I hope everybody's having a halfway decent Monday. I understand it's Monday. I understand it's Monday. Monday is never the best day of anybody's week, for the most part. Except if you're somebody like... Except if you're somebody who, like me in the past, my free, my, my Monday, my Monday was, used to be my Friday. A long, long time ago. Galaxy far away. A long, long time ago. In a galaxy far away. I haven't heard that song we Weird Al in ages, and for some reason I was able to start singing it perfectly in cadence and lyrics, and I hate it. It just shows that Weird Al transcends time. That's all I gotta say on the matter. Now the Miltank wants to fight? Heck off. You know, I haven't caught a Miltank yet. Oh, there's a rich boy right outside my base. All oh, this rich boy outside my base. If 
fine. We'll go bigger. No tank. Do I have to make heavy balls? I might make heavy balls, actually, now that I think about it. That is tempting. Oh, wait, I'm higher level than it by a decent amount. Nest ball. I like nest balls. Well, you don't have rollout, so we're not worried about it right now. Another ultra ball, let's go. The one time I want to catch a Pokemon and the game is actually just crapping all over me. What's it gonna take, Miltank? What's it gonna take? What kind of ball would you like today? In all honesty, I should actually have my Meltan in the front so I can uh, use that. Oh my god! Okay, fine. It's been a long time. It's been a decent long time. Let's timer ball you. There. Timer ball. It works. I can't believe I use a timer ball on a mill tank. Of all Pokemon. Look at them getting more apricorns, right? There. I think I have farmed a suspicion amount of stuff. Uh, I'm taking a risk here. Okay. Okay, it's a Grodel. We'll we can work with this. We need to fight the Grodels, or the Frisch boys, because they give money. <sighs> oh boy, here I go looking for yellow and blue once again, even though the even though the fighting's been done. Okay, we're good. Let's go burn. Let's go burn some of these up. Burn you, burn you. Apparently I have acquired copious amounts of walls. <sighs> we'll get some more timer balls here in a second. Are you, oh you're done, okay. But you are low. Good thing I have ungodly amounts of coal. Like, let me pull a, another stack out and go uh, refill all the furniture, re refill everything. Yeah, if anybody in the server is watching, you are free to snag up some of this coal. This is... I realize this is kind of 
me saying, oh, look at my hard work, but this is community chest. Let's see, how many quick balls do I have? Um, don't need too many quick balls. I would like to make some, you know, I'm going to put a re I'm going to put this repeat ball away. Uh, I'm going to grab stone and my buttons and my ball bottoms. Dirty? Sounds dirty, doesn't it? Okay, give me the blue. Give me some of these. Give me some of those. So how many, okay. There is a line noon outside, I can hear it clear as day. So let's make 10 of these. I know that cry, because I have a line noon and it makes the same cry. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and go in there. A uh, bag. Music to my ears. Give me these. Give me these. Uh, whatever is left of the... We're gonna play a little bit fast and loose with how many yellows we can use. Because I don't want to use up all these. So I have 56 quick balls. I want to stack. Which means I can only make 8 more. Which means we make 6 more lids. Uh, what can... I think you make more fast balls, is it? Yes. No. We'll save. Now let me, let me tab over once again. Because I have to see. I recall that tab in. Okay, so to make timer balls, we don't need many, but to, I would like to make some timer balls. So it's red, black, white. Okay, I feel better about that. Now I'm pretty sure three black cross is going to do nothing, right? Yeah. Let's just experiment with what I know. Net ball. That's not a bad ball. We can make more ultra balls. I know I'm going to do that. And then whatever is left is going to go in there. These are... Wow, th these are useless. Uh, here, take more of these. Don't worry, I actually have a plan of attack for today, and I probably could have done this a little bit before I started streaming this, but... This is what we're starting with, because I want to... I thought I somehow jumped into a voice call. I want to start with this. I want to start doing this, because the preparation now will make sure I don't have to do it later. Okay. Oh, shush up, yeah. Give me the lids. Now then, with what we've got, balls, may have gone overboard. No, that was perfect. Okay, perfect stack of 64, let's go. Oh, I get, oh right, I got these. There. Now, the hope is I won't need to come back in this chest for anything for a while. Go away. I can go back. Uh, keep this on the bar. Okay, I've got food and storage. Okay. We're golden.
Make sure I'm not taking anything. Ah, I wasn't done. I just realized. Well, I gotta wait anyway, so. So that was eight lids, was it? So. Okay, butanes. Where's the butanes? There they are. Dang it, I messed up. This is fine, we have to offload some walls anyway. Uh, Alright. Oh. oh god. I have once again ditched my starting part ditched my starting team. Like Zig's a good. You fool. Perfectly timed. Okay, so ball, base, lid. Oh, that's glaring. That's that is tiny. Let's see, community base. Quick heal up. And I know where I want to do my grinding. Oh no, not that, not that one. Uh, Pokemon Linoon. I didn't look at the level this far through the ball. Oops. Well, it'll be lots of levels if this works. I see. So, I, so you've chosen death. What I... I guess. This is not going to end well. I need to pay attention to levels before I start swinging. Fantastic. I hate. I hate. Just time to put more balls away. So this time when I go to the end, let's pay attention to the level of stuff. Excusing me.
Oh, something I should look up actually while I wait. Uh -huh. oh. Yes, give me this entry. Okay, let's try it the other way. I can't spell. It's going to be a problem. Oops. Meltan is going to be a problem because it evolves. If I smelt enough crap. What level are you? Looks like 21. 31. I think I can still work with it. save you for what's coming. Did the other Gothita just fall through the world? No, no, it's right there. Yeah, crap baskets. Here we go again. I'm gonna get washed by one Pokemon. There, they should do it. <sighs> I've already got to go back. Because Sensor Scorch doesn't have a thing. 
Hit. Sorry, I felt something on the bottom of my elbow. help if the, if the numbers were more visible 40 okay so I just can't fight LGM I think that's what it, that boils down to that's a tiny wobble pet How is it? How the heck is it every single time I get one iota of progress, the game immediately says, nah, progress isn't for you, dog. Fine, I'll just bully stuff out here.
I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of tempted just to go sit in my base and grind up stuff. I'm just trying to see if they happen to have... No, I don't. Did I never heal? I mean, I'll cheese it out. That's fine. That was half the point of even coming out here to start with is I wanted to hit. So I wanted to hit up a healing station. And just whoosh, right over my head. <sighs> I'm gonna need more water soon. Oh, too much fire. Would you believe I said I wanted to catch that?
This I can care less about. Not gonna lie, I heard the lyrics starting up in this song and I panicked for half a minute because I thought I had uh, managed to grab. I thought I had managed to grab a. Uh, had a vocal song in here of some kind. do much all day but I'm s tired so really I should he well I should listen to my body and go find a bed but this is me we're talking about I go find my bed and sleep when I'm about ready to actually pass out but on the flip side of the statement I can't really <clears throat> flip side of the statement you know it's like, oh, you're tired. Just go grab something for energy. I uh, can't do that anymore today. I already had an energy drink. Doubling down would be a bad idea. Back to being terrified of Graveler. Your eggs. go I have found and collected my eggs I forgot one of you. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I have one of you. Right, 
I don't need... I like how I had the intent of grinding, but now it's just like, oh man, I have to smelt so many metals. Now I'm just like... Now I'm just like, okay, going down into the mine. Slumping really far in my chair. You can tell I'm kind of getting into, kind of getting into the, my uh, comfort zone. Let me be leaving a little too much. Uh, I don't want to spend like all stream mining, but considering the level up requirements for Meltan, I might just this might heal turn into a grinding fest, a grind, a grinding for ores fest, which isn't a bad thing because I. Uh, Four hundred. Do it? No, five stacks is three twenty, so I need six and a half stacks. Oh god. Well, six and a half stacks of any metal, so I can dig up any metal and start smelting it, and then the game will be happy. I don't already fill this up. Sorry, I know I'm complaining. I've had... I have had quite possibly some of the most restless nights of sleep the last two weeks. It should be getting rectified this week, but I'm really, really out here hoping for it to happen sooner rather than later, man. Also, I put torches really close together, didn't I? Why am I? 
Brain, stay focused. You can't smelt that. I know I passed up coal. I need coal throughout this ende expend endeavor. I already know. I yeah. I don't need any more coal for my base, really, but I'm going to need it if I'm going to smelt as much as I am. So I'm going to try and get, like, one more stack of coal just to cover for the amount of iron. And I'm going to have to smelt soon. Okay, there's more. Fossil, fantastic. Adventure continues. The adventure for more iron continues. On the next exciting episode of Pixelmon. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough coal for now. Fine, I was curious bears. Well, the wood for more torches is not on my docket at the moment.
You know what? I'm gonna make some coffee so I can help wake myself up for this. Um, I'll be back in just a moment here.
Okay. Sorry about the delay. I have returned. I have coffee now. Hopefully I'll be able to function. Getting up and walking a little bit actually helped uh, exercise my brain, or energize my brain a little bit, so. I also just now remembered I'm not trying to dig down. <gasps> it's not door, it's not ore. Actually, getting that back. Okay, it's a faint enough light where I can see a little bit for it. That's not ore. That's not ore. That's ore. Shouldn't give up right away. I don't want to smelt it, but that's something to smelt. No. You know what I want, game. Can't see enough anymore. Damn it! All right, let me let me dance like a wrecking ball down the hall, down this hallway, and get back, and attempt to go back. I didn't set myself up a nice way back, did I? Oh, it's another fossil. helping. You know, I might actually just go into the cave that's by my base. figure out how the hell to get back. Yeah, I think I somehow found my original dig site. Oh god, man. I am. Oh, I don't bode well. Oh, hi buddy. Yeah, I'm kind of mixed on what I want to do tonight, buddy. I need to grind experience on various Pokemon. 
I need to grind experience on various Pokemon. But I also have been given a curse. Stop running. Or not that. I have been given a curse in that I know how to evolve Meltan. I don't like it. Good. I got Nikita. Well, that's nice. Wait, I don't have to run all the way back. I have coal in my bag. The gears are turning. Hi, Pidgey. What's good, Pidgey? Direct, gone. Dirt, gone. This, gone. This, gone. Sure cubes, king, gone. Bones, nah. Book, out. One stack of stone. These, sure. This, out. This, in here. That's why I said I'm stupid. So I'll do this and this. It's a stack of sticks. Uh, I don't need that many torches. Hold on. Just give me a stack of 64 for now. All right, let's go back. Let's let's pick up where we left off, eh? Well, hello, friend. So yeah, I'm gonna be, unless, here's the thing I'm gonna tell you about right now, buddy. Unless you've got a stockpile of iron, your iron or other metals, you're willing to let me stand there and smelt down. This is probably gonna be me tonight because in order to evolve Meltan, I have to have it in my party and smelt 400 ore. I wish I was lying. So I did the math, and it's about six and a half stacks. You know, thinking about it, I probably shouldn't have turned I should not have turned my entire inventory of wood into sticks so I can stop and make diamonds if I uh, need it. So let me go back really quick. Okay, nothing, nothing. Let me get a little bit of wood, more wood on the surface so I can do an emergency. So I can, I can do an emergency, uh, what you call it? 
craft table, so let's just grab two. Perfect, that's all I need. Emergency craft table with the sticks. So if I need diamond, I can just make another diamond pickaxe and go back to town. Or go back to work. Work, as it were. Work, 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 let me see you work, 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 try to put me in the da 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 God, the, uh, this fi I forgot about this. So this is just this is the dumb thing that the dumb thing about me when I was younger. Keep in mind, Minecraft is I hate I say only Minecraft is only 14 years, 13, 14 years old. But even with that statement in mind, I had this dumb I had this dumb thing where. If I didn't have to capitalize something or be or be formal with something, I didn't bother capitalizing it. I've gotten a lot better in recent years about that. So there's a lot of stuff of old accounts that I still use, but it is the uh, information is not capitalized at all. Oh. Fate smiles upon me this day. Also, I'm not sure why I'm keeping it in there. I don't need to keep that in there. Mood should be getting better now soon. I've got a nice cup of coffee. I would have just I would have just grabbed one of my energy drinks out of the fridge, but uh, I've already had one today. And even though it's not the super strong stuff I was drinking uh, in the winter time, I'd rather only keep myself to one of those energy drinks a day at most. And I know drinking a cup of coffee is not any better in this situation, but it kind of is. Also, I apparently just need to stay around this layer, because around this level, because this is where all the iron spawns. I heard a diglet, by the way. Which means I'm near open, uh, a chas near a chasm. Ugh. Seems like it's over that way. Or to the left. Hmm. How scandalous. Okay, good. You're going to keep going that way. 
Why did I open that up? Oh, no, we're fine. Yeah, we're not fine. Yeah, we're fine. This is what I wanted to see when I when I went uh, broke through is I wanted to see this because a potential for diamond, but b the biggest thing is potential for uh, is the big iron. And spawn, spawn in this biome. The game crazy just decided he's got to go. I just stepped on the oven. I must go. All right, gravel. How quickly I forget. Yeah, let's go ahead and break open that barrier. And that is... Crystal. Hey, that's something to smelt up. I'll take it. Like I said, I need to just be around this level, roughly, and this is where all the iron will spawn. I'll take gold, but I prefer iron, just because you need it for the balls. I'll take bauxite if it happens to pop up. I'm going to curve around gems. Because I don't need those cluttering up my inventory. Bitch, I've been here. I was just here. I was get my sense of direction is tonight. If I've been somewhere and I don't, if I've been somewhere so recently that I don't remember, or if I've been somewhere and I don't remember it, even though it was literally out two minutes ago. I hear another diglet, so we can terrorize that thing. Ah, fantastic. There it is. Panic at the disco. Let's go.
Okay, I didn't know how far I was going to try and go. Yeah, it's more crystal. Yeah, iron, that's what we're after. That's what I came here for, baby. Still crystal. Oh, silicon. You, you know what? Arena trap me even? Okay, here, arena trap this. Coffeed. Hello, Kasai. Thank you for the host. I am incredibly tired, and I had a cup of coffee to hopefully rectify that for the next hour, couple hours. How are you this fine eve, this fine Monday eve? That's a carcal. Hi, carcal. This is bauxite. This is a big old vein of bauxite. Ah, uh, the stand the standard uh roguelike obsession. You're in you're in phase three. Pretty soon uh pretty soon step four comes and then you will uh forfeit all mortal possessions to to your roguelike roguelike of choice. And then comes the point where you basically where you hit what is the binding of Isaac's equivalent of Golden God. Where that's a mining shaft. Where all you do shortly is you're gonna you're gonna have multiple save files of Don't Starve and what I'm trying to 100% each and every save file. Oh, right, I have blocks on. Oops. Don't worry, everybody everybody goes through it with their roguelike of choice. Oh, hold down below. Everybody goes through it with their roguelike of choice. I did it with Binding of Isaac. Got pumpkins for pumpkin seeds. I'll take the power rails. I don't think anybody's gonna use them, but I'll take them. Okay, good. It's the same fossil. Uh, feather. Well, that's useless. And this is why we check behind the waterfall. Get some more block sight. Hopefully I got that. Keeps going. God, it keeps going. My shafts. Show me the way of Rolly Coley. Oh, 
Oh no, you know. Everybody said the same thing about Binding of Isaac. All roguelikes have a climax of sorts. Fortunately and unfortunately. Okay, well I'm gonna take that back. Oh, did I fill up a spot? So I said I need six stacks, yeah? Who bad are you? Okay, I already caught you. Well, doesn't mean I can't hit kill you for experience. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I am Meltan. That is, that is, who bet? Sweetheart, who bet, please. You might be better than this. Notice how you get the quantifier of might. Six stacks of stuff overall, eh? And I'm t I am down here with- I came down into this mining expedition with a stack of quick balls. That's in the game, don't worry. Oh, wow, I went right past this. And round. And I'm watching him taking out his bombs to blow me from the ground. I just want a little more light to shine through so I can see what I'm doing. That was it. Okay, I did the ransack that, so I went straight here. Uh, that's something. That's something to uh, smelt. Dusk stone, another covered fossil, more torches for the torch god, uh, diorite for the diorite gods. Actually, yeah, I leave it there. I'll also, put that granite away so I can have this. Now I'm done doing that. Make sure I get everything else I need.
To put me to the ground. It may be a small place, so many of us in it. Ran out of air. I'll run backwards in a minute. I've just got to check this area to see if. So that's the water I opened a second ago. Hit. This is a quick iron check. Put the iron in the bag. Put the bauxite in the bag. This is where I've been. Yes, yes. No. Yes, yeah, but I just didn't take that. Okay. So then with this. Okay. It's looping in on itself. It's fine. Hit. Ooh, isn't that pretty up there? Yeah, so I went up there. Let's continue down the mine shaft for a minute. Even though this mine shaft is just going to connect to itself, let's make a stairway up. There's some days I feel like I type really fast, and there's some days I feel like I type really slow. I've taken typing tests before, but they're all they I can never ascertain what that means. Like I think oh. Well there might be something good back here. No spiders to to guard it, so. sword. I forgot how, how these work. I was like, oh, if only I had a sword. Scooter, you have a sword. Okay. Stuff. He's got a sword! You idiot, we've all got swords! Just Okay. So something just randomly out of the blue that popped in my head. Also nothing back there. Good. Something out right well not really a random out of the blue, but enough out of the blue that I feel like I want to draw attention to it is <clears throat> I always feel like I realize it's not an uncommon thing, but Everybody does know that there was an anim uh, an, an Aladdin uh, animated series, right? On uh, Disney Toons was the channel? Or I guess it was just Disney on I don't want these. I want that. I don't want that. I want that. Okay, I know what to do here. Put this away. Put that away. I like how I have all these video game music tracks going on, and I'm but I'm singing other tracks entirely. 
even if, even if it's in a language I don't understand in the slightest. No, I knew Emperor's New Groove had an anime series. Actually, that's another thing. So, Emperor's New Groove had an anime series, right? It was about, about uh, Kuzco going to school, and I think Yzma was the headmaster or something like that, and Kronk was Kronk. Listen, Kronk's a good boy, but he's also, uh, he's also the biggest idiot you'll ever meet. Anyway, backpedaling on myself. But, well, that doesn't, that doesn't make me uh, stay on the train of the Aladdin animated series. But yeah, there was an Aladdin animated series. I think it had like two or three seasons. And it had the, it had the entire original cast from the first Aladdin, from the first Aladdin cartoon. Eh, isn't that ghastly? Excuse me, ghastly. I'm just doing some work here, don't mind me. But yeah, um, but yeah, Aladdin had an animated series, and they had the entire voice cast from the, uh, from the, from the, uh, first animated movie work, uh, doing work on it, so, unless I'm mistaken, and Rob, Will that was when Rob Williams split off from the Aladdin franchise for a bit. Uh, nothing, nothing, okay, we can go back. I'm taking my torch, too. I'm taking this torch, too. And this one. Um, but yeah, Emperor's New Group had an animation, but that's where that this all links in, is that at the same time Aladdin had an animated series, so did Hercules. And the oh, I need there we go. But yeah, at the same time, but uh, Hercules, Hercules and Emperor's New Group, the animated series, share a same plot point where. Main character X is going to school. Except replace. Except replace. Nice. No, I want that. I want this too. That seems important. Oh, no, other way around. No, no. Give me this. Oh, I never put that in my inventory. Yeah, grab some more powered rails. I'll dump that if I need room. Anyway. Yeah, Hercules had an animated series where Hercules was going to school. Uh, Hades was trying, was still trying to kill him. But, you know, it's the whole Saturday morning cartoon shtick of gotta kill the kid, can't kill the kid. Why can't I kill the kid? Repeat, for, repeat for two, two, uh, two seasons. Okay, let me show you. I got all. Okay, I got all the torches out. I'm not sure why I'm grabbing up all this stuff. To be honest with you. But I do remember there was one spider spawner. I panicked for a minute, and then I remembered, oh yeah, mobs are off. Um, but yeah, they, it happened at one point. Oh my god, I just realized I have a spot I can have open. I just need to get rid of this andesite. I'm smart. They had an episode, or was it a two episode thing? I remember those two shows had an episode or two where they actually crossed over. It was like a two episode special where they did a crossover with each other. So, Aladdin and Hercules are in the same universe slash mythos, question mark? Unless they got retcon, which this is a multi-million dollar corporation. They probably retcon that just as soon as soon as it came into existence.
But yeah, I'm pretty sure unless, uh... Unless Disney's Vice Grip is that strong, there, it's pro you can probably find that crossover episode on, uh... You can more than likely find that crossover episode on YouTube somewhere. I think I did at one point, actually. I, I watched it. I watched, like, the clips from it. Uh, here, Doug Trio, but I don't think I have anything to take care of it, really. I'm gonna leave every. Oh, no, give me a name tag. Give me that back. That was a new cry. Feel, feel, feel. Oh my god, I hate how my brain works. So it just dawned on me, by the way, like with that call, with that Doug Trio call, it just dawned on me. I think it's the same per. I think the same person who voices Flood in Mario Sunshine does the voice of Doug Trio. Am I really out? Feel, feel, out of room. Feel, feel. Can you hear that? Probably not because I have the game volume really low. <sighs> you know what? It ain't worth it. One, two, Okay, I got out of my headspace. I sorted everything out. We're good. Anyway. So, where was it going? Oh, yeah. Just. I guess this is me just kind of saying, oh, yeah, Emperor's New Groove cartoon. Same ev same concept and everything as the Hercules anime cartoon. They're both they're actually both uh, fantastic cartoons, the Aladdin and the Hercules one. I can't speak for the Emperor's New Groove one because I think that came out and was. I think that came out and was a thing, when I, uh, when I was you know quote unquote when I stopped watching TV. Dang it. No, my baby boy. Well, you know what happens now. I burn you. Listen, if it can make it evolve, I'm using it. I'm pretty sure it can, but there's always the op chance that it can't. Listen, I don't know the rules for all this stuff yet. I think some people, for, myself included, I think some people forget that Sableye. Latias! I think some people forget that uh, Sableye had a Mega. Because it was kind of an, because like uh, Agron, its Mega was, uh, <coughs> excuse me, its Mega was a defensive Mega, which doesn't really make any sense. That's di that's that one's diamonds. Dang, it's not diamonds.
I'm going to forget where that is, by the way. A Zubat. Yeah, you know, I mean, Zubat. And... Have fun. Let me take stock. Un, dos, trois. Uh, I'm gonna say that's about four, so I need five more. I left my emerald on me. I'll get rid of that sack of cobblestone. If things get dicey. there. Uh, let's go back and go on that magical mystery tour. No, I probably have forgotten about it by now. Yeah, I've already forgotten about it. Oh, hi, Doug Trio. How were you having fun? I'm gonna go with no. Oh, Jesus Christ. And a leaf stone? Oh, come on, game. You're, you're, you're twisting various parts of me in the wrong way. Uh, what can I get rid of out of this? We'll put the name tags in here. Grab the leaf stone. Grab these powered rails. That's about it. I don't want to leave, man. Oh my god, it doesn't and it never ends. The ride never ends. The ride actually never ends. Okay, why'd I do that if I'm just gonna go up through here? Don't worry, I'll hit those on the right. I just want to make sure I can get up here. Because there's probably going to be more to grab up here. I still have that stack of netherrack to drop. Right. Going up. 
Oh, this music reminds me. As I'm sure it reminds several other people. So, I think E3 is three weeks away now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three weeks away. All right. So, E3, three weeks away. Right? Now, of course, uh, quell your... Night slash. Quell your expectations and your wants and your desires. But, the fact it was F-Zero made me think of this. What do you think is happening at E3? Remember, want and, and think are two different things. Like, personally... Uh, personally, I feel like like Nintendo's been toss been talking about and I hate you. Nintendo has been talking about um has been kind of being a little bit cheeky about F Zero a lot because when everybody's like oh F Zero and Nintendo's now recently been more like. Or Nintendo's been like, well, if we're going to do F-Zero, we want to do something new. And exciting with the series. We don't just want F-Zero again. Meanwhile, me and everybody else that still have our functioning brain cells left are like, it's been 20 years since the last F-Zero. You know what you could do that's new? Online. That's never been done in an F-Zero game. I have string on me, that's why I have the spot cluttered up. Ooh. Someone's having a rough time of it over here. Ah, it's a woo bat again. But yeah, I think we're gonna there's gonna be something. Like here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna get something with F zero more than likely. More than likely. Not not factual statements. We're probably gonna get something involving F Zero. There's the there's that thunderstorm again. Uh, we're probably gonna get something something involving Mario Party is probably gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna be specifically Mario Party or if it's gonna be <clears throat> I don't know if it, I don't know if uh if the Mario Party I'm speaking of is going to be specifically Mar Super Mario Party 2, like everybody else has been saying lately. But I'm thinking something like... Like, it could even be something that's, you know, a party, quote-unquote, party game. Like, you know, Mario's, Mario Sports Mix. Because that's technically a party game. So something... Cool. I'm going to, I'm, I'm te testing the waters here. Okay, that was, thank you, Bolt. Or Blood Bolt, I should say. Dang it. Get him, Linoon. Finish it off. Okay, you're done. Hit the brick disposal, you're done. Okay, I don't have room, that's right. Oh, am I out of torches? Don't worry, I have a plan B for this.
Always have a contingency. No matter how stupid it is. Yeah, so we're probably gonna have something Mario... Mario that is party... focused. I'll say. Uh, with the fact that E3 is coming about, uh, Sega is probably gonna try and hit us with... Sega's gonna probably hit us with, you know, the lightest of trailers for the next Sonic game. They've been talking about the next Sonic game for the last three years, since Forces flopped so hard. But there's also the possibility that Sega's gonna hit us with their with their uh, multi-platform launching of certain games that they have the IPs to now. Reminder, Sega Sega owns the right to Atlas. So I'm not saying we're gonna get, uh, we're not saying we're gonna get uh, stuff like Persona on Switch or anything like that, but it, it is it is in the realm of possibility. And if that happens, I'm gonna stand here, cause people stood stood and said, you need to play Persona 4. I will stand here and tell people, Okay, it's on the Switch. You all play on the Switch. Go play Persona 4, please. And to the handful of people that say, and to the handful of people that say, by the way, the coffee's kicking in, so now I'm running 100 miles an hour. Um, and to the people that's that say, let's say, oh, that's a. Oh, that's not kid friendly at all. That's definitely mature themed and everything. Shimigami Tensei 3 Nightmare is on the Nintendo Switch as we speak. Yeah, like, here's the thing. And don't feel like this is me telling you go back through my VODs and watch everything. No, this is not what I'm saying. Mainly ceiling. Or I guess now he's NAF. I do remember he had a he had a name change because he got tired of being called ceiling and I have to respect that. Well, I don't know the exact reason, but regardless. Naf sat here for Aeons trying to get me and Lucky to play Persona 4. And Tamal joined him on that as well. And I guess they also We don't we don't pressure Gaia as much on this stuff because just because Gaia is not temperamental. That's the that is the wrongest word I can use in this example. Diamonds don't mind if I do. Not temperamental. It's not the right word. She it, ooh efficiency hell yeah. All uh, oh, right this. Give me. Um, she's not temperamental. That's not the right word. She's finicky. Uh, she likes what she likes a lot, and getting somebody to change her mind is not that easy. I don't know. I I feel like a jerk saying talking about her behind her back. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it. But to a lesser but that's uh, to a lesser extent. So basically, Naf Tamal, and Tamal hammered on me, Lucky and Guy to play Persona Four. They didn't hammer on me, and they didn't hammer on me as much because. You know, <clears throat> excuse me, they didn't hammer on me as hard because I didn't have anything PlayStation until like four years ago. But, you know, two years ago now, I think, I, I streamed my entire playthrough of Persona 4 Golden on on the Vita, or aka the PSTV, because that's what I played it on. And that is a, that was, goddamn, that was a life-changing experience. Like I think pretty much everybody has the same mentality when when uh kind of has comes across with the same thing when they play that that's materials down there damn it. Everybody kind of has the same uh outcome when they play Persona 4 is it like kind of flips their head flips them on their head and kind of opens their eyes to what the real world is. It definitely did for me. Plus the writing in it really helps sell the game and carry it. So, like, someday I'll probably play Persona 5 as well, considering everybody clamors about it, but I'm not going to throw out... 
I'm not throwing out a hundred. I'm not throwing out two hundred dollars for a system and another thirty for the not definitive version of a game. And I'm not gonna whatever that is plus one hundred and fifty for the definitive version right now. But know at some point that I would like to play Persona Five, just because I understand why everybody likes that series so much. It's kind of in the same vein why I suddenly. I've been here. Um, it's kind of the same vein why suddenly I am I am Gaga for Monster Hunter is one day just one day while I was um do I have room for anything in here? Yes I do. Uh one day, you know, on a whim I picked up Monster Hunter because Tamal, Naf, Lucky Guy, like pretty much everybody, everybody in that friend group, and then everybody in another friend group, will say, we'll just say Charles was the biggest proprietor of this group, or the biggest uh, driving force behind this group. But they're kind of like, okay, you need to play Monster Hunter. It's great. It's fantastic. It's fun. It's just and eventually when it went on sale, when that went on sale, I was just like, okay, fine, I'll play it. I'll see what the I'll see what all the hubbub is, bub. And now I'm, a, I'm a, now I'm an addict to Monster Hunter as well. <laughs> okay, I've been here. In fact, that it's actually that's actually why I was a that's why I was a little late to tonight's stream. Uh, that's why I was a few minutes late to tonight's stream because uh, just to help just to help uh, Yoshiller. A little bit. He needed to get some footage for something he was recording. I don't know what exactly. But he needed to hunt a Rajang, so I was late because I was about to stream, and then Yoshila made a call out of like, hey, I need to fight a Rajang. So we spent I we spent, you know, about half an hour to an hour saying that. But anyway, I'm curving away from the subject to start with, I realize. You know, please, if you please do, if you can, play Persona 4. I mean, there's the. I've had this topic before. I feel like I'm done in this tunnel. I've had this topic before, so I'm gonna try not to hammer it in. Even though this is me we're talking about, I'm probably still gonna hammer it in. Um, there is such a thing as over, like overplaying your card of having somebody play a game or series you love. There, I there is such a thing. And the example I've given before is star like people who are I'm gonna say 20 and under uh, with Star Wars because you know you have you have so many people who are like okay Star Wars is one of the best franchises ever made you everybody should see Star Wars you know there are advocates for this for that series up and down the block. And everybody will follow up and say, okay, so which one should I watch? And that is the exact point where the entire fandom will split and go on a tirade. Ugh. Careful. Like... When somebody says a fan of Star Wars, there is like an there is like an audible cringe in the room, if that makes any sense. Like there's an audible like you can hear everybody in the room go. Because there's a negative stipulation because of how how toxic the recommendation of that fan base is. And that's because, you know, if you oversell pushing somebody to get a game or get get into a franchise, it does more harm than it does good.
which is why, you know, if somebody, like, like just happened with uh, Bloodbolt there, you know, somebody comes in and says, oh, I really need to play this. I will, I will sit here and go, yes, please, please do. And then for the most part, after that, I'll drop the subject altogether. I'm not perfect, so I know I kind of go a little hard. Oh, Creamy's back from the dead. Have I been down here? Probably. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I mean... Like, you can like all the Star Wars you want. Like, if you're a fan of Star Wars, fantastic. As long as you're not, like I said, part of that crowd that kind of... Boxite. Oh, wow. I almost have a stack of Boxite. As long as you're not part of that crowd that kind of makes people audibly wretch when Star Wars is brought up. Yeah. Uh, I don't think- were you here for that blood bolt? Well, that's kind of why I'm down here in the mines anyway, which reminds me I should do a tally, so... One, two, three, four... Five, six-ish. I need at least one more stack of something, I think. Uh, I looked up how to evolve Meltan. And that's why I'm down here. I was gonna... Okay. Well, uh... No, I... No, that's... I follow that. Sorry, I'm... Forgive my terrible word choice. I follow that much, at least, Blood Bolt. I meant, like, last night. I got it last night. Uh, go, go. <sighs> so done. Um, but yeah, I got it last night. Uh, basically, in the quest, in the quest, to... Got it. Uh, in the quest to keep myself with enough iron so I can make my own balls and not have to spend a dime on... Now I have to spend a dime at the Mart until I can start beating up trainers regularly. I was smelting. I was smelting iron, and I pulled iron out of the smelter, and all of a sudden, here he comes, just running around my base. Level 5, just scurrying around my base. So, it must be... It must be a rare, rare chance, but it must be that whenever you smelt iron, whenever oh, I, I need, I can get rid of something. Uh, I want to keep the nether rack. Don't know why I want to keep the nether rack so bad. <laughs> um, but it must be a low chance. But whenever you smelt an iron or smelt a metal, whenever you pull it out, it must hit, roll a chance to see if Meltan comes out with it. But anyway, back on task. So that's why I'm down here in the mines in the mines and doing the mining today instead of grinding up levels on my Linoon and Scent to Scorch and everything that I love. Is in order to evolve Meltan, it has to you have to smelt 400 ore. 400 metals specifically. You have to smelt 400 metals with it in your party. Now I'm getting hella lucky, I'm getting a lot of box sites, so this will help. This will help a lot for just myself. You know, maybe make my base actually have a healer and all that jazz. Oh, my.
Can I do anything for you, baby? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was terrible. Terrible joy terrible word choice. I don't need these sapphires. But anyway, uh, no, this is just how I play Minecraft a lot of times. Like, I understand there's the Pokemon aspect I should be focusing on in this. But this is just generally how my Minecraft experience boils down for me is... Even though there's a mod involved, I tend to... I tend to devolve into resource gathering. Like, what is the most common denominator resource that a mod pack needs? That's me. I am out there with, looking for that resource and that resource alone. And the most com outside of the bear outside of the apricots, it seems like the most common resource is iron. So I've had basically every day I've been playing since I started playing this mod pack with you guys, I have spent at least half of that set half of my play session down here mining. And I guess I got rewarded for it by getting a meltdown. If I get another melt, if I ha if through all this that's going on here, if I happen to get, eh, oh hey, there's more over there. If I happen to get myself a yet another Meltan off of this, I have no, I have, like especially people have like extra stuff they don't mind trading, trading up or trading down. I have no qualms and, eh, I have no qualms in working out some kind of deal so everybody can, ha so more people can have Meltan. If it's a shiny, I'm keeping the shiny, and I'll give you the one I'm raising up right now. <laughs> I forgot I had this. Yeah, see, like, I'll do something like that. Um, don't worry, I've, uh, I've been pretty hard at the diamond mines as well. Only, like, ten of this is from the end tower I raided. Oops. How'd I miss? Ah, bugger. Uh, is it this? No, it's this. I was way up there, right? Keep going. Okay. Split. Off. Like that. What did I think was going to happen? You know how they say you're, you're, you are your own worst enemy? Never has that statement been more true to me. There have been so many times where I've where I've like been going. My That's an open. There, somebody will know what's going on. <laughs> that is open air. Um, there have been so many times while I've been playing that while I've been playing this with you guys, that I've st had to stop and go. What did I think was going to happen? <laughs> All right, I'm jumping. First, I'm a first, I'm a slap a geo, dude. It's freaking sturdy. There have been so many times I've been going through this, 
where I've stopped and gone, what did I think was what I was was gonna happen? Like I have said those words out loud. Oh my god. This dude is gonna push me down the hole. Like you, you really don't want to know how many times I had to stop and stop and question my own intelligence while playing this. And I, but I shouldn't feel like I'm being incredibly stupid with this either. I've been down here. I shouldn't feel like I'm being incredibly stupid with this either. Simply on the basis that, uh, simply on the basis that you know I don't play Minecraft very often. In fact, this this. This mod pack is probably the most I've played mod, uh, Minecraft in the last five years, if not the last ten years. Ooh, more. But, much like everybody else to some capacity, you watch one person. Everybody does. Listen, I know, I know what's happening. I live on YouTube. I know what happens. That's the crystal. Yep. I live on YouTube. All right. I know. I know what people go through. Somebody at some at one point or another watches, has watched, or currently watches somebody who plays Minecraft. I do. It's one channel. And because I watch that, like a lot of my knowledge of Minecraft and stuff like that is kind of like soaked in like a lot of stuff is just soaked into my brain vicariously by play by watching other people's play that happens with a lot of stuff like a lot of people at okay i don't know if the person in question is sitting in chat right now if you are i'm sorry this is not a call-up post <clears throat> um i have been getting i've gotten several comments especially when i do a legend of zelda project of hey will you do um will you do a project on the oracle games yes i want to i'll say that much right up front yes i want to do a series on the oracle games but i've seen so many people do let's plays of the oracle games that they're that i'm gonna breeze through it because my brain holds on to the stuff it shouldn't be holding on to The name of my the name of my uh, brother's four children. I remember one. How uh, what is it? I'm trying to think of a game that I haven't played on YouTube yet. That I haven't played for YouTube yet. Oh God, I have another stack. Get rid of. I have another stack. Get rid of. Um. Well, that's, that's uh, what is it? Uh, the somewhat most optimal strategy for beating something in Final Fantasy. I guess I should say the most quote unquote optimal classes for somebody in Final Fantasy VII or the most optimal materia to, to, to use for some proper material wise for, for Final Fantasy VII. I think I can remember half of what who is best with what in, in Final Fantasy 7 or even how the materia works in the first place. I've never played Final Fantasy 7. I've been down here twice already. I already know this. That's kind of like, um, what was it? Like, you know, I played Earthbound for the first time on my channel. Couple years ago, I knew how to take care of Gygus. 
just because I had seen so many people do Let's Plays of, of Mother, of Earthbound, or Mother 2, whatever you wish to say. My brain just holds on to the stuff that it should not hold on to. I think I'm ready to go. Let me kind of tabulate. I'm going to leave the silicon out of the equation just to be safe. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven times 64 is four. Four hundred. No. Seven times 64. Yeah, it's 448. I need to smelt 400 to get Meltan to evolve. I think I've got everything I need. I'm not still fireproof, am I? My armor has fireproof on it, I can, I can tell. No, I just have protection. Alright, drowning it is. Oh, hey, more stuff. Uh, the people I watch are part of the... Uh, a lot of the people that I watch to play Minecraft occasionally is not specifically... Uh, not specifically... Uh, the Yogg's Cast channel proper. There we go. Like, not specifically the, mine, the Minecraft, the... Uh, what is it? Yeah, not specifically the Oxcast proper, but some of their offshoots I still watch. Here's the fun part. I have to just sit here and wait now. I could make another furnace to speed this up. In fact, I will. Unlimited power. <laughs> so now I can now I can focus and chat with you guys. So yeah, I know my memory is kind of messed up. I know I know it's messed up like that. So like, even though I enjoy watching people play stuff, even though I enjoy watching people play play games, I still you know. Even if I haven't seen somebody play that game in the last five years, my brain's like, you you have this, you watch this, you will remember this, and you spout off this information and repeat it verbatim from what you saw seven years ago. Though you've never played it. Hold on, I just realized. I, uh, I've got a couple to spare, but I just realized I probably need to revive my Meltan to have this work. It's a gift, it's a curse. Okay, it's more a curse than anything. <sighs> Welcome to the next several hours. <laughs> okay, not the next several hours, but you get it. Uh, I'm gonna pop my Oh, wrong button. I'm gonna pop my three torches away. 
I'm gonna do that and hope you guys love the sound of that. I understand it's disgusting, but roll with me. Uh, let's put... Let's get this coal back out and put it away. Uh, let's pull on my fossils, because that's probably going to be the next thing I'll do. Actually, no, the next thing I'm going to do is more ore. Ore! Buh. Uh, let's pull out this iron and this bauxite. See, I already have a stack of iron in here. I think I'm going to pull out the relic, because the shops aren't buying these relics. So I'm just going to have the relics in there. Uh, relic band can be sold to shopkeepers. Hmm, doubt. Because as I said, I tried to sell that relic copper, and the game was, and the game hit me with a hard, not, not, not happening, chief. <laughs> iron ore in there, so I can pull iron ore out. And I guess aluminum ore out. Guys, I'm swimming in this stuff. Send hell up. Send the helicopter. Oh, I got a rock incense I can put away. Uh, what else fun do I have in here I can put away? I've got some ender pearls I'm gonna keep on me. Diamonds are staying on me. Let me pull out this these uh this palmic berry. I'm keeping the greasiest orb in my inventory as well. Oh, I have we come to the Firestone. Oh, it's every square. Got it. Uh, leaf stone. I've got a bunch of stones, man. If, if anybody needs stones, I, I got it. Uh, I'm going to put these back in my bag for now. Yeah, that's empty. And here comes the moment of truth. Where if my counting worked to my favor or not. Something I could do. Do I have it anyway? Yeah, I still have it here. Okay. Oh, wait, what am I? 50 discs? Yeah, 50 discs. Let's go. Let's get some efficiency going in this household. Scooter, efficient? You're talking about the wrong person. You're, that's not the scooter I know. The scooter I know would find the most convoluted way to do anything. And you'd be correct. Uh, heck with it. I'll put the shiny stone, the dust stones, and, that, and all these extra fun stones in there. I'm keeping the orb on me. Because if I find Giratina at some point, if I ever find Giratina, I want Giratina. Giratina is my legendary. Oh, wait. Get these nuggets out of here and put them in here. Oh, I'm well, I'm well aware it'll probably take a while to get to. I imagine it's probably going to an ultra wormhole and then going through a portal in the ultra wormhole to find the distortion world, then digging through the distortion world for about half an hour to find the one specific path that leads you to the chance 
to fight Giratina. Something stupid like that. Because as far as I'm aware, the Distortion World... The Distortion World is beyond Ultra Wormholes, beyond Nether Portals, beyond End Portals. It's its own beast. Again, that's all... That's all speculation in my head. I'll write this. Oh, you need the Lake Trio. So it sounds like you're getting Giratina before I am. Coffee is exactly what I needed. That first hour of the stream, man, I could tell I was not in a mood to do anything. Then again, I spent pretty much my entire morning today doing bookkeeping. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Ah, my ankle popped. I was doing bookkeeping stuff all all morning. And it took me to like 2 o'clock to even work out. And even go for my walk until it was 4 o'clock today. But like doing all this book work, then working out, and then coming to stream. Like I hit stream time and my body just went... Enjoy that dead stare. Okay, so let me see if I follow the steps, because I played Gen 4. I played Gen 4 and kind of know the uh, the steps for that in this sense. So, also this was here, so we've got... We've done... Three stacks. We need six stacks. So let me see if I follow what it is. It's to get, uh, you have to find, what do they call it, the Crimson Chains, I think is what it is, or what they did with Platinum. I don't know if it was the same with Diamond and Pearl. I didn't play Diamond and Pearl, I only played Platinum. You have to find and craft the Crimson Chains in order to summon one of the two Time and Space Gods. So you need two of those, bare minimum. You have to find the Lake Trio in order to try and corral or capture Giratina. Once you, get, once you have all three of those, then you have access to Arceus. That, did I get that right? <laughs> Listen, man, I know Minecraft mods. I never thought to have Meltan out while I was doing this, by the way. So I'm going to be really sad when this doesn't work. Okay. Hi, little buddy. Ah, nut boy. Noom. <laughs> yeah. Imagine me just grabbing a stack of iron out of a furnace, and just to have that little motion you saw there happen when I was like ten minutes from falling asleep. I mean, he's in my party, and that's what it all said, so I'm kind of hoping this is all I need to do. Uh, let's pull these back in and put these in the box. Because I'm going to be stupid. And we need these iron discs, so. I already have some up here. But what's stopping me? I haven't found their little dude. Okay, so I wasn't incredibly far off the mark, but I w but yeah.
Also, let me pull out my failed creation. Hit E squeak. All right, Dawnstone. I have a Dawnstone. If anybody's trying to get a Galade going, nut boy. Look at this nut boy. Look at this dude. Oh, that's done. Uh, put the gold in. I suppose I could probably take the rails out of my bags, huh? And room in here. Yes. Efficiency two book. Like I was I was off enough. Where's Meltan? Did he go upstairs? I lost my child. Okay, there it is. I found my nut boy. <laughs> Scooter, we had that talk about phrasing. I know. And I don't learn. Fair enough. Uh, let me pull uh, some stacks of cobble into here. And I think we'll start smelting those up too. Just in the background so I have buttons ready whenever. Pull some coal out so I can make sure that they're all topped off. I have name tags, right? I don't know what name, what purpose name tags have in this mod pack, but they are these are they are free for the taking if anybody wants to go at them. Oh, it's a Nidoran outside. I thought that was my Meltan. Oh, that's a Glamia outside. I really hope this works. Otherwise, I just wasted like over an hour. Stone. Actually, pull it back up. This probably doesn't count, but yeah. Yeah, I've got I've I've got three name tags just for my adventures. You guys are more than ha uh, more than you are more than welcome to ransack my village. That was it. That was the frick. Bye. Guys, I uh I feel like. I feel like it, I, it must have, it should have been out or something. Welcome to the club, Jack. Condescending as that sounded, welcome to the club. It's, uh... Take things slow. Yeah, something didn't work.
<sighs> I'm gonna look this up a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, the side effects are... Oh, I have to level up Meltan once. Okay, we're good. I think I can do it. Just gotta make sure I don't get it KO'd. Sorry, I'm checking. Not nah, you got me on other tabs. So I'm checking that. Anyway, let me get back on task. No, no, it doesn't. So here's the thing: is that. Hi, Skarmory. <laughs> um, here's the thing for me. I got, um, as of today, about eight hours ago, I think. Yeah, about eight hours ago, I am, by all classifications, fully vaccinated. It's been two weeks since I got my second COVID shot. I am fully vaccinated at this point. Now, some people have basically have had the same symptoms of COVID. I basically have had borderline the same symptoms of COVID that uh, have had the same symptoms of COVID. Some people have had mild symptoms, fatigue, a headache, something of that sort. I had fatigue, but that could also be linked to the fact that I, I have been without my CPAP for two weeks now. Did you just let me out into my base, buddy bro? I heard you leave. I'll take care of it. <laughs> but there's some people who just got nothing. My father got nothing. My father got nothing. I got. Not that I didn't level up from that. Oh uh, yeah, my father got nothing from it. I got the head. I got the headache and nausea. Oh, I can just. Sure. I don't care enough. Boop. That was it. Meltan is evolving. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, that is a very big boy. <laughs> that is a very big boy. <laughs> hey, buddy, bro. It is a very big boy. Butt <laughs> eh, size Charizard, so it's not terribly huge, but it's big enough. I'd like to see where Lucky is at the moment, actually. Evolving this thing is stupid. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Uh, anyway. So tonight's stream has been the chronicles of evolving a Melmetal, or a Melmetan, or Meltan. So yeah, I gotta, so my side effects were exhaustion. My side effects from COVID were exhaustion and a little bit of a headache from the first shot, mostly. My father, who is, my father, but forgive, and if he stumbles across this, sorry dad. My father, who is diabetic and has... And has a couple other, you know, term, not terminal, uh, long, lifelong illnesses, had no headache. Had zero headaches whatsoever. He had no symptoms on either shot. My mother, I think she was, thank you. My mother, I don't think she suffered, I don't think she's gotten her second shot yet. I could be wrong in this. Not from 
Not from Ooga Booga Hocus Pocus kind of stuff, but just in a, you know, her laziness to do it. <laughs> Oh, uh, what else? Oh, for somebody, uh, somebody else had it in here. So, I will save this for a fact as well. Uh, a couple of you, a couple of you that are in here, you know of Charles E. Bernardo. You know, we have a lot of mutual people. Like, uh, people, uh, uh, you know, you tested positive or you actually have COVID. Uh, Charles had COVID, and he still went and got his vaccines as well, basically doubling down to make sure he can't get it until until it mutates. Oh right, I was doing this. Balls, balls are inert. I'm not gonna make any more balls. To, or I'm not gonna make any more balls today. In fact, I should just leave this be and walk away. And yet, here I stand, pulling pulling smooth stone out of my chest for my smooth brain. Uh, where's my heart scale? Do I have heart scale? I no, I uh, no, I do not. I know I have a heart scale. Is that a trainer? No. Yes, my balls are inert. I'm looking for Lucky. Oh, that's a gigantic bundle, uh, Diggersby, though. Wait, why am I running? Ride! What? You got our fusion bolt? <laughs> okay, I see what it costs. I have enough for all this. Okay, is double metal on this list? No, it's not on this list. What level does it learn double metal? I think I'll keep Thunder Punch on it. Listen, I only say the balls are inert because of the sa uh, because of the same stupid AMV that was out several years ago. Uh, Mega Punch is tempting. Uh, not strength, even though I could teach it strength actually. No, I'll keep headbutt. So. Oh, it says can't learn. Okay. Can't learn Fusion Bolt. Okay, fair enough. So, out of all these, I can learn Mega Punch and that's it. Yeah, so I need to go back and get four things. Um... I don't have it in my bag, right? Yeah, I don't. I have the diamonds in my bag for something else. Dude, this is so much better. Okay. I'll say in chat too. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and go back and get stuff, but I need somebody here just to make sure I can come back with all my junk.
That's a Waylord. That's not wild, okay. So anyway, sorry, Jack, you did say earlier. Yes, there is a mod for... There is a mod for... There is a mod for Minecraft called Pixelmon. It ran into some trouble a while ago, initially, because a lot of the stuff was... A lot of the stuff initially was taken straight out of Gen 6 at the time and put it into this game. Music, models, the whole nine yards. So it got taken down. So what we're playing is Pixelmon Reforged. Either the same team or a similar team. Uh, either the same team or, si or the similar team went, uh, went out of the way, recreated all the models from scratch, made new music for this from scratch, basically rebuilt this from the ground up. So if Nintendo tries to, tries to go, hey, that's ours, he goes, no, 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 I made it myself. Oops. Okay, I wanted to make sure. Because that's how it was described to me, so I want to make sure I described it properly, everybody else. Uh, like, there's been a ton of stuff. This is not, this is, okay, I'm going to sound like I'm ragging on Nintendo now, and I don't mean to make it like this, but it do be, it is what it is. Or, <clears throat> it is what it is. Um... Nintendo has shut down countless fan projects for ba for for the most part making uh, HD versions of stuff. And yeah, uh, like a, well, I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, like basically there was a big one like Super Mario 64 HD. There's been several of those projects that have come along, and every single time they come up, they get shut down within a day. Uh, it's up here. Crap, I don't know where my stuff is. This, this. Just take it all with me. Silicon, sure. Uh, rubies. These. Uh, let's get some. Let's get some of this. Okay. I thought that was a Kabuto and I was about to lose my stuff for a minute. But yeah, um Yeah, just to continue that thought process. Sorry, I got I got lost in the, I got lost in the moment. Okay, replace this. I guess I can't learn fusion bolt. I can't read apparently. Uh, what was, was there something else I wanted to, to learn? Endure, we're not going to worry about that. So it's going to learn double metal. Okay, cancel. Uh, you... There's nothing I want you to have out of this list. Why do I care, worry about you? You, on the other hand. Oh, you can't learn Aura Sphere? I thought you could. Bunk, bunkus. Don't worry about it, Jack. Uh, 
Uh, strength? Strength or Fury Attack, yes. Al Creamy, what can you learn? Endure. Nothing. Sent to Scorch, what can you learn? Probably just endure, knowing my luck. Yep, okay. But yeah, no, the intellectual, like, I understand Nintendo protecting their intellectual properties. But Nintendo could be doing a better job with it. And I'm going to point out their rival, Sega, on this one. Oops. Because whenever Sega, because whenever a fan game comes out for anything Sega does, within the next couple of days, Sega's usually, Sega's usually going, hey, we liked what you did. Want to work with, want to work for us? Like, there are so many times when Sega hire on new people for their teams just because they made a fan game that did that did amazing. Oh, I can make a water stone. Uh, that goes back in. No, wait. No, that stays in there. Okay, we're good. My inventory's a mess. <laughs> So yeah, when Sega when Sega sees a fan game, they usually try and work with that person in some capacity for a project. Which is how we got in the long term, we got Sonic Mania. Because Christian Whitehead started off I think it's Christian Whitehead? Yeah. Christian Whitehead started off making making Sonic fan games, uh, most notably Sonic Before and Sonic After the sequel. Uh, then he went on to port the games to mobile device, port the Genesis Sonic games to mobile devices, and those are those are either considered the best versions of Sonic the Sonic Genesis titles. And when they saw that, they're like, "Okay, we're gonna give you the tools, make us a new Sonic game." And right now, outside of Sonic Generations, Sonic Mania is the best-selling Sonic game in the last 15 years. These are in the wrong spot. Get these berries out. Also, I have to see something. Uh, yeah, we'll put it in here. So, berry, berry, berry. Berry, berry. Do you have any berries in here? Yes. Oh right, the uh, I've got it on my desktop actually. Um, I hopefully it doesn't kill the video feed for you guys. No, it just pauses it. Uh, Sonic Smack, yes, Sonic Smackdown. So that whole thing, it was a it was a rumor mill kind of thing. It was some he said she said bullshit to qu to quote uh, some band. I forget the band right now. Is it Limp Bizkit? It might be Limp Bizkit. Oh, thank you for fixing my melon patch. Well, that's a little level Zangoose. Don't mind if I just yeet a ball in its face. Phrasing. Balls in your face, you say? I like Zangoose a lot. I really like Zangoose. I. It's sad it doesn't have an evolution or anything else cool with it. I really like Zangoose. <laughs> Alright, the fossils. That was my next thing I was going to do. Alright. Beetroots are... Beetroots, beetroots. Eh. That worked. 
I'm growing citrus berries. <laughs> Just the moment of elation of I'm growing a berry that everybody wants. And that's cool. I like Survivor as well. Uh, right. I'm getting some blue. I'm getting some blue and some yellow. Blue, yellow, and black for all the balls I like to use. And I guess I'll get some red on the side, but I will, and I'll throw them in the forge. I get the white as well. <clears throat> I don't need to worry. Well, I say I don't need to worry about green. Pink is the one I don't need to worry about. So I'm just gonna pick up everything. As what I guess what I'm trying to say. Oh, hey, Q-Fan, I can get some more metal. <laughs> Thanks, fur fru. That's all I did. Oh, boy. Sense of Scourge, can you not die? Uh, Cotton Guard. Okay, I can get around that. Wrap. Heck! Alright, Cream Puff, go nuts! This is gonna take a while. I'm probably gonna get knocked out. What does Sweet Scent do? Evasiveness down, right? It probably is related. Listen. This is the longest con. I'm probably gonna get knocked out right here. Watch. Oh no. I think I, I think I got it. I got it. I should have tried to catch that for a crew, actually. In retrospect. Oh well. Mm. I'm keeping headbutt. Anyway, I was after I was after these berries, Ap apricots. Um, what's saying? But yeah, that's just kind of thing. Like, that's kind of the yin and yang of Nintendo and Sega right now. Is I'm gonna sound like keep in mind, as I say all this, I am somebody who I'm somebody who loves both companies. Like. In fact, I probably like Nintendo too much because here's my Nintendo Switch with purple and orange Joy-Cons. Along with green, red, two gray, and two neon yellow Joy-Cons over here, plus this entire thing full of Switch games. Just to paint the point, I'm a fan of both companies. Sega is a lot more accepting of what the community around their games will do 
Whereas Nintendo don't want anybody touching their, for lack of a better term, touching their precious baby boy. Boys. The thing is, Sega, the Sega trusting fans is helping their rapport because their internal company can't, can't, other than currently Yakuza, the Yakuza series, Sega can't, is, Sega's has been kind of underperforming in general. That's just a general state. That's just a general statement for me. I'm just one guy who's noticing things. I'm not. I am not the end all, be all, perfect answer on this stuff. Okay, take that. Keep that in mind. Sega's willingness to Sega being willing to bring on fans to work on their on their content or on their IPs helps them in the long run because it builds up the trust. It builds up trust with, uh, it builds up a lot of trust. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, it builds up a lot of trust. It makes people excited to see what Sega can do now that they, after they had to witness, you know, the death of many of their beloved franchises, so to say, at the hands of dumb rights holders. Trust me, this is all making sense in the long run as I'm doing this. Oh, right, this. That one that was a low count. Yeah. That's yeah, that's the other part. Thank you for catching me on that, Jack. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, I apologize for that. <laughs> but yeah, like Nintendo consistently makes good products. 95% of the time. There is a handful of games where they've dropped the ball. Sugar sir. <coughs> then again, that's more intelligent systems. Tomato, tomato. But a lot of longtime fans. I'm cleaning up my inventory while I wait for this. While I wait, while I get stuff gets ready. By the way, um, a lot of long-term time fans are a lot of long-time fans who are privy to Nintendo's practices. You know, have caught on to how they do things to a point where. Get that wool out of there. Why is this in here? Why is this in here? Okay, that can stay in there. Help me. Uh, by the way, losing the plot, that's me right there. Uh, oh, right. Up here, please. Down here, please. Grab this. I just saw that incense up there. Not there. This. Okay, put it all back. Nintendo consist consistently performs well with, with their content. But the day that Nintendo slips up, slips up enough where they can't where they start having a Sega fallout is the day when their stinginess to work with fans is gonna come back against them. Reminder, I said it earlier, I'm gonna repeat myself, I am a big fan of Nintendo. Listen, I'm learning katakana right now, and I'm done with here and I'm done with the hiragana lessons. I still get tripped up on hiragana because I need to actually speak the full sentences. By the way, fun thing, a lot of katakana is 
is uh, vowel combinations that are not norm that are not in hiragana, and are kind of just like short, like short, like uh sounds instead of ah uh, sounds. If that makes sense. And like if I if I ever find myself in a position where I call shots at a at a gaming company overseas That's not let's not think about that. Cause I'm really easygoing. <laughs> I am really easygoing when it comes to games. Uh, to my recollection, there's only ever been like three or four games where I have flat out said bad. Keep in mind I've been playing games. I've been playing games since I uh, since uh, uh, Pac-Man on Atari. According to my parents, I've been playing video games for that long. So I have a long catalog of knowledge of games. And to my recollection, I, like I said, three or four games in my lifetime where I purchased, I've I've just looked at and gone bad. Just blanket statement bad. All right, I'm still holding these gas tears. Anyway, I'll be done with the balls. I'm just getting them cooked up so I don't have to waste my time with the balls later on. Apricots, they're apricot scooter, apricots. You know, you would think that. Here's the thing. Sonic Shuffle is not terrible. It has plenty of amazing ideas. and it But it underperforms terribly. Like, I can't show it to you guys very well with a project or anything. With a project or anything. All I can do is take a picture of what it looks like, but... I think I took my allergy pill today. I need to clean this. I need to clean this bad. <laughs> anyway. So, this. Little, ah, there we go. So, this little thing on the Dreamcast, which you can't. There you go. There, you can make it up better and see how dirty it is. The VMU is effectively a Game Boy, by the way. It plays like two bit games on it. That can be transferred to all games that they're compatible with, so you can raise Chao on this and bring it back. Bring it back to your copy of Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2. But they also had other things on it, like there were little mini games with Power Stone. But with Sonic Shuffle, what it is is, while it's in the controller here, while it's in the controller here, the screen on here displays your hand. It displays like the hand of cards you have while playing Sonic Shuffle. So this, this little screen here has your hand and you basically hold it like a poker hand while you're playing. So you can see what cards you have. The problem is a lot of people you see playing this game, let's see playing Sonic Shuffle. They don't have this system set up. They're playing it all emulated because they're not trying. If they had the VMUs and everything in this, they would be doing so much better with this game. So basically, it's a it's a symptom of what's well the current the current equivalent of of Skyward Sword HD. Oh, by the way, if you don't have the Zelda and Glidewing amiibo, you're missing out on a major feature. That's the equivalent. Which we can talk about that if you want to. I'm all for tearing into that bag of worms at some point.
Did it stop me from getting that? Did it stop me from getting that amiibo combo? No, I still bought that amiibo because I'm an amiibo collector. Send help. Um. So yeah. Yes. Buddy bro, just yes. Subtract the gold monster hunter on amiibo. Count up every amiibo ever released. This includes across seas. And add three to that number. I have that. I don't want to reposition the camera because repositioning this camera for stream purposes is a pain in the ass. But just know that this entire stretch of wall, like this entire six to seven foot stretch of wall is full of boxed amiibo. I have a shelf just back here that has like 20 amiibo sitting on it. And then there's a shelf around the corner here you can't see in that general direction that has every other amiibo. That is unboxed. Anyway, we're done with these gaffs and goofs now. I can... Oh, hi, Flappy. What level are you? 15? Got it. Um, anyway. So, Pokemon. Here's the thing with po Here's the thing with Pokemon. For the most part, I have been on board with almost, with ev with nearly every single decision po that po the Pokemon Company has made with their games. This includes Let's Go. This includes some of Gen Six. This in this doesn't. Why is it taking so long? This does not include. Uh, this does not include the re-release of of Sun and Moon as Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. And the message at the end of the day, the message at the end of the day that Sword and Shield gave, I like that too. Let's go. It's a fantastic game. Oh, a uh, friend in the well. <clears throat> the only Pokemon game, the only Pokemon generation that I give a big <laughs> to, Generation 3. Original and Remake. I'm going to Lucky's house. Lucky's nowhere nearby, is he? We're about to find out. Dang it. He's not in his house. Oh, well, I can tell him later. So, the thing with Sonic... Oh, well, yeah. So, that's the thing. Like, I've already said my piece, but yeah. Pretty much everything under Pokemon Company's umbrella, outside of Gen 3, and I will include the game that I played and then sold later, uh, Pokemon Dash. And then the later Pokemon Rumble series entries. Outside of those, pretty much everything our Pokemon Company has put forward... It's fantastic. Like it all has something unique to it, and it's and for the most part, it is all good. Now we're talking about Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom does not get any such grace. They gave they handed it off to a, to a comp. I don't know what happened there. They handed it off to Big Red Button, known for Ratchet and Clank, so they know what they're doing. Ratchet and Clank doesn't do speed. The rail segments. Ratchet and Clank doesn't understand story. Ratchet and Clank is a series. Red Button doesn't know this. Doesn't... Like, Big Red Button has handled anthro an anthropomorphic animal for at least six games. They sh Eight. I think they've handled everything except for the most recent uh, one that's come out for PS5. Or coming out for PS5. I could be wrong in this statement. 
Fur crew, fur crew. 42. Risking it. So somebody kept messing up the communications and screwed everything up. Like somebody screwed the pooch. But here's the thing, even with that, even with that, I would like to play the game. I would like to play the game just to understand it and see if I can figure out what went wrong. Or at least play it. But here's the thing, I'm not paying any more than five bucks for it. So I so yeah I will I would be willing to, I would be willing to play Sonic Boom but I'm not paying I'm not paying much like I said not paying any more than 5 bucks for it I don't have a Rhyhorn yet Ah oh, broke free boo Well then I'm just going to have to punch it Okay let me try it again I'm going to have to punch it Perfect. Oh no, the, the television show? Top notch, one of the best television shows i made in the last five years. That's a, well, that's a wild bay leaf. The writing in that Fantastic. Oh, that's a corefish. I should have threw a ball. Oops, KO'd it. That's it. <laughs> All right, let me go. Let me see if that Bailey is still over here after I've done after I got done screwing about. It's still here. But yeah, no, the writing in that is fantastic. Like if you go look up Sonic Boom on YouTube, you will find. I'm gonna use that to scorch for this one. If you go look up Sonic Boom on YouTube, you will find. Like, everybody's made compilations of the jokes. You're going to stumble into, like, five hours of content. Dang.
Like, I think... One of the best jokes I remember from it is... Now, keep in mind, my portrayal of the voices, terrible. I am not a voice actor. <laughs> I would like to be. I'm not one. Um, of just basically imagine the ending to Sonic 2 for the Genesis in the scenario just and everybody's on a conversation over you know their wrist watch talkie talkie things just just like just like uh, Tails coming in for a hard landing you got me? Roger! Who's Roger? He's talking to me it was a subtle joke to the fact that Roger Craig Smith is, was, the voice of Sonic. Like, that is probably my favorite joke that I've seen from the Sonic Boom cartoon. Along with uh, Mike Pollock doing basically sounding like a goat when he's scream when he's screaming at when he's trying to scream in fear as robot or Doctor Eggman. I'm trying to find something else just for the comedic purpose. I'm going to use the gamepad because it's roughly the same size. It was a uh, it was another bit where. Where Eggman's in the shower and Tails is in his lab. And Eggman's like, just go get me a towel. Tails comes back, will this work? And hands him basically like a washcloth. And and Eggman says, that's not going to cover anything. Are you making fun of me? Like, there is, there are so many good jokes in that show. It's a starter. It warranted the timer ball, okay? I actually didn't take any damage from the fight. That Bayleaf was kind of lacking. So yeah, if you ever need, if you ever need an afternoon of just ha ha funny, like just sit down with this. Go look up YouTube clips because I always put together the clips of the jokes from Sonic Boom. They're clever and they're fantastic. It also helps that they have a character that breaks the fourth wall consistently. Score Rupee. Oh, I was. Oh, that's how fast it went. Oops. Haha. <laughs> uh, totally planned. I'm currently just going out and capturing things that I will like. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason to the teams I'm putting together. Dang it! I have to actually attack this thing now. Big boy punch. One more big boy punch. Ah, oh, too much. Oh, of course you would get a crit. I love you, Melmetal, but we're gonna have a conver we're gonna need to have a dialogue about the fact that you're just just going fucking punch on everything. Okay, this is a much lower level. We can probably work better with the quick ball on this. Oh god. I like how really I like how two and a half hours ago I was about ready to just call it just call it a one hour stream. And now I just look down, I've been going for three and a half hours. <laughs> Thank you, coffee. The reason why I do stupid things faster.
I'll be there all the time. So watch your step now, watch your step, don't fall. Oh, do I have saying true? We're gonna find out together. I do not. I wish they would do. I wish. I wish I had more with Sand Troop because I like Sand Troop a lot. Yeah. Let's go, big boy. Off to sunrise. Oh, hi, Dunsparce. I already have one of you, but hi, Dunsparce. That's uh, Flint. We're going to leave that be. Jesus Christ, it scared me. I wasn't expecting to be walking along and just, and just hear... Uh, I will say they probably pulled a lot of the voice sample for, for this. They probably pulled a lot of voice samples from the anime. But, uh... Don't tell Papa Nintendo. My Metal Colossus can swim. Something seems wrong about this statement. I know with Adventure Time, it, it, I think they discuss it in one of the episodes. Forgive me, I haven't watched Adventure Time. I know it's a good show. I, well, people say it's a good show. I just don't watch it. Then again, I haven't really watched TV in the last, I really watched TV in the last 12 years. Or is it, or is it 13 now? I think it's closing down 13 years actually since I watched any television. Yeah, of my own volition, I'll say. But I do know that, like, a lot of cartoons are... I have you. I know a lot of cartoons are starting to go the way of... This is dangerous. Right, that's what I was going to do, and I got sidetracked. Hit. There you go, big boy. Drink some Wawa. Oh, I didn't want you to hold that. Don't hold that. Um. Boy is too big. But a lot of Western cartoons are starting to adapt what uh, what Eastern cartoons are doing in long form storytelling and kind of keeping a uh, canon from start to finish. Uh, whatever reservations you have about it, keep it, keep it, keep it that way. Let's, I'm not addressing this, that part, but you like Steven Universe that has still has a currently ongoing plot and thing. Uh, Adventure Time has a, has an overarching plot, but it kind of still keeps it in this realm of funny side bits. Like cartoons are start, our cartoons over here are starting to get more into the thing of let's have an overarching story. But let's remember, we're cartoons. We need to keep. We need to pull people in for thirty minutes and then let them go. That is, I think, yes, that is an Alola meowth, which I'm going to try and quick ball. Okay, Jack. Yeah, like that. You know, we're saying the same thing, different words. Is that a rich boy? No, but it is free food. 
A big punch. Why is its name Twinkle Toes? Headbutt. Wait, why'd you fairy win me, you fool? Good job, Melmetal. You beat up a child and took their lunch money. Uh, Alright, but it is getting close to midnight. I should probably wrap up. I should probably wrap up streaming this for now, just because I think my roommate is trying to go to sleep. If not he if not him being asleep already, and I don't want to be really loud. And I do but I do I do enjoy this conversation we're on. It's it's fantastic. That's big. Alolan Ratatel, let's go. I think that Watchhog's gonna fight me as soon as I'm done with this Ratata. Look at him running! Okay. So yeah. Storytelling in storytelling in uh, Western cartoons is getting better. It's getting a lot better. And they know how to... And we're kind of looping it back around to... Like, we're kind of looping back around to what it was in the 90s a little bit. What was story and, and, and uh, tucked inside. Like, if you watch... Like, I will say... Um, examples of what I'm bringing up, you know, I think of, when I think of, you know, Rugrats, Rocco's Modern Life... Uh, shoot, what are, what are the Nicktoons that were good? Hey Arnold. You know, we're kind of coming back around to this, to this, to the era of the 90s uh, cartoons where we have short episodes with their own self-contained plot and re and if you watch it again later as an adult, you get the very clever jokes that were thrown in there that don't break any censorship rules. I'll pull out the Rugrats, Rugrats, Rugrats uh, one in just a second. But we're coming back around to that. Whereas those those cartoons also have an overarching story. The Christmas special for Hey Arnold addressed the overarching story of Mr. Wynn. In that he was a ref he was a refugee from Thailand, I want to say. A refugee from Thailand or North Korea that sought refuge in America. But he unfortunately lost contact with his daughter. The Christmas special was about Arnold finding and finding his daughter, and and getting th those two back in contact. So it basically was a plot that built up for many episodes before that, and then they address it in a Christmas special. So sorry, my camera seems like it's not latched on properly because of oh it is. Never mind. You're good. You guys are good. But the joke that, you know, skirts around sensors and it's like an only adults will get a bit from the Rugrats is... Uh, let's see. Grandpa Lou, Dee Dee, and Stu are the two in this joke. I'm back from playing Russian Roulette with the boys. Did you win? You don't know how Russian Roulette works, do you? Went over my head when I was ten. Terrifying now that I'm tw now that I'm thirty. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Yes and no. I mean. Yeah, it it would kill it would kill it for just about anybody. Oops, doesn't mean to do this. It would kill it for just about anybody. But there's also the other side. Also, do I have that pickaxe in my bag? Yeah, I want to get unbreaking on this before I finish up. I can't because I left my freaking laz laz lazzle at home. Whatever. Anyway, I think I've handled just about everything I needed to. I'm going to wrap things... I think I'm going to actually wrap things up here. Because we're going really hot and heavy with all this. Yeah. And I like... I did I did like uh, Dexter's Lab. Like... 
I did like Dexter's Lab, and I understand your frustration. So we're on the same wavelength for that one, Jack. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap things up here tonight. So anybody watching, uh, did you have any questions before I wrap up this stream for the evening? Uh, as is tradition, despite the fact it's getting warmer out, as is tradition, we're gonna do some more Ring Fit on Thursday, which is the next stream day. I swear to God, if a P dove is rooting my crops. Never mind, we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. So, I'll, yeah, I'll leave it at that. But yeah. So yeah, again, Thursday, more Ring Fit streams. Um, before I end things off here, we're going to go raid somebody. And I, and as always, I let you folks choose who we go raiding over to. I'll just give you a list of, I'll give you a list of potential candidates and you guys can pick, like always. I like to call this one the balls in your court. That's the reason why we're streaming Pixelmon to start with tonight, because I put up a I put up a vote. I put up a vote on Twitter, and it was almost unanimously, it was almost unanimous. We're playing Pixelmon over playing Monster Hunter Rise. <laughs> so anyway, uh, options I'm going to give you. Uh, game clearing. Proton John is playing River City, River City Ransom Underground. Uh, game was released like four years ago. It's River City Ransom. Graphics are the same, but it's tweaked and brought up to current age technology. So if you know River City Ransom, River City Random Vanilla, you know Underground already. It's just tweaked to be more current gen, if that makes sense. <clears throat> uh, Lithero is streaming... Uh, F, uh, F0GX in VR. And Kenny Dubs is playing Overwatch. So, run through the list again. Proton John, River City Ransom Underground. Lethero, F0GX in VR. I'm going to give the caveat that you might get a little sight sick because him whipping his head around may and you not doing the same may make you a little sight sick. And Kenny with Overwatch. Anything in particular you guys are feeling? Uh, I, you know, I'll be honest. I probably wouldn't watch any of these myself. So unless you guys give me an, unless you guys give me something, with Arrow? Okay, I was about to say, unless you guys give, give me, unless you guys say something, I'm actually gonna just gonna auto host take over. But if you want to do Lethero, let's go with Lethero. Like I said, he's gonna be doing this, and the screen's gonna be moving about, but your head's gonna be staying straight, and it might make you sight sick. I'm gonna give you that fair warning in advance. So, you know, you know, and you're and you're aware. All right, so. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on Thursday for Ring Fit. Have a good night, folks. Actually, let me make sure I uh, get the stream open for when that raid goes off. Huh? There we go. Did it actually? Okay, it went. Okay, it went.